on it to slow down. I don't want to stand up. You want to stand up? Yeah. Do it. Go for it. I have to stand up too? No, you stand up here. Yes, that's what I do. Oh, I thought I was sitting here. Okay, stand up. Hey, she's just sitting. Hey, she's sitting there. Ready? Here we go. I'm in, right out, right up, right down, right at thee all the time. I'm in, right out, right up, right down, right at thee all the time. With Jesus in my heart, I never will depart. I'm in, right out, right up, right down, right at thee all the time. Pick one. You pick one. Why don't Bubby pick one? Because you pick one. Why don't Bubby pick one? Because you pick one. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Get your little green book. <clears throat> I did, yeah. All right, don't, don't make me call you out now. You got to come up here and help us sing.
Matt, you're holding up my choir. I'm sorry. I'm trying. <laughs> I had to open my candy. Is, is that something your mama taught you? I know your dad. Yeah. <laughs> Turn to page 108. Turn to page 108. <clears throat> there is God.
page 24, and then we'll turn it over to Brother Al. Page 24. <coughs> Thank you all for coming to the choir and singing, and thank you all for uh, being here tonight so the choir can sing to you. Um, if you have your Bibles tonight, let's turn to Romans chapter number 2. Romans chapter 2 tonight. If you'll stand, I won't keep you standing very long. Earl, I think Earl's about to wear me out this morning. He kept me standing so long. But uh, we'll read just a couple verses here, and uh, and you know it's amazing how God works. Um, uh, those those of you that was in our Sunday school class, I know for certain uh, there were things that was said in our Sunday school class that tied in with Earl's message. Uh, those two things in regard tied into the message that the Lord had laid on my heart this past week. Not only that, some of the things that were taught in discipleship training tonight like, rolled right into uh, uh, the message that the Lord's in our heart. And you know what? None of us have talked to one another. That's just how God works things out. And I'm glad He is the God that can work such things out. So uh, tonight, if you're here and you're standing, you've got the Word of God, Romans chapter 2. And let's read just um, a couple verses here. Uh, or three, actually three verses. But glory honor and peace to every man that worketh good to the Jew first and also to the Gentile 
For there is no respect of persons with God, for as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without the law, and as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. For not uh, the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. So let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in prayer tonight thanking you once again for just a beautiful day, God, that you've given us uh, uh, just a time of worship that we've enjoyed uh, not only uh, tonight but this morning. Thanking you, Lord, for your blessings. Thanking you, God, for uh, the songs that were sung, the words that were written in those songs. Thank you, God, for the scripture that we're going to share tonight. Thank you for the message, God, that you've bestowed uh, upon my heart. It's been a blessing to uh, study and to prepare for this sermon tonight. God, as we pray, we know there are many needs uh, around us today, uh, not, uh, not just here, our, everyone that's here tonight. Uh, many church members are at home. Uh, many friends and our family and our communities and neighbors, God, have uh, struggles and trials in their life. They have things that they need help with. Oftentimes, uh, many people, Lord, uh, they, they begin to suffer and they begin to uh, worry and uh, or doubt that, that you're there for them, that you love them. But uh, let this message tonight, God, be uh, encouragement. Let it be uplifting. Uh, let it help those, God, that are needing such help. Thank you for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, amen. Um, before we, uh, just to give you a little insight of this scripture, God laid this on my heart some time back and uh, begin uh, begin to study and to uh, uh, pray about it and seek things and you know it seemed like the more I studied the more I prayed about it the more the Lord showed me and this is what I've come up with I, I'm going to give you something tonight uh, that'll make you love the Lord God and Jesus even more now uh, every one of us in here tonight uh, we all have our reasons of why we love Jesus I know I do I know you do, uh, and this is just one more reason that you can take and you can apply, uh, not only apply it in your life or your family, but you may be able to share this uh, with someone that may be a help to them. Uh, so let's look at what verse 11, this is our thought for tonight, for there is no respect of persons, uh, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, with God. Now, uh, you say, preacher, what does that mean? Let me put it in words that, uh, th that I understand even better. It means that God does not show uh, to be partial to one person or the other. God does not show favoritism uh, to one person uh, or another. Now, uh, when you think about this, I, I was thinking uh, in, in verse, the verses that we read, uh, here's the thought that came to my mind uh, earlier in the week. Uh, uh, God sees all men the same and will judge all the same. Now, when you think about that, think about this for one reason. Now, uh, it, er, earlier it came to me that this, that uh, if God had respect for people in that, that means He would be partial unto one people or to one group uh, or even to one uh, a person uh, over sin or not sinning in things. Uh, I, it's amazing. I was saw today uh, watching the football game and uh, there's a theme that's going around and uh, some of the football players have it written on the back of their helmets or on the front. Uh, they may even have it in the end zones and basically uh, the theme that people are trying to project in today's society, uh, even the media and that, is they want all people uh, uh, to be treated equal. And you know what? You know who the first person to ever come up with that idea? Uh, that idea came up with God first. Uh, and you know, I was thinking about this uh, uh, when you, I don't have it marked, but over in James, uh, I, I can't remember, I believe it's in chapter number two uh, uh, you know what we're not to ha I'm par going to paraphrase it I can't quote it word for word uh, we're not to have uh, uh, to esteem people greater than others when we do we commit sin uh, and I was thinking about uh, uh, these folks uh, and Mary touched on them uh, tonight and what a wonderful class it was in discipleship training 
thing. You know, if God had respect of people, uh, uh, God would have never uh, used Moses. Now think about that for a moment. Uh, uh, Moses, yes, uh, he, he was uh, an Israelite. Uh, uh, but think about this. Uh, uh, he also uh, was a sinner. He was also uh, 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 had killed a man in cold blood. But God uh, did not have respect of persons. Uh, uh, God used him. Uh, now let's look at David. We talked about David tonight. Uh, uh, David was not perfect. Uh, he committed adultery uh, uh, with Bathsheba. Uh, uh, but not only in that, uh, he was guilty of murder. He sent Uriah out to the front lines to be killed in that uh, to cover up his sin. Uh, but you know what? God could not have used David if, if God had respect uh, uh, for people in sin. What about in the New Testament? Think about this. Uh, uh, but the Apostle Paul, uh, when he was Saul, uh, he was guilty of murder. Uh, he was guilty of whipping and, and persecuting Christians. Uh, but God, uh, through the eyes of grace and mercy, uh, uh, God did not have respect, uh, uh, but could use such a person as that. Uh, uh, that excites me tonight, because guess what? Uh, I'm not perfect. Uh, uh, neither were these uh, uh, that I spoke about, uh, and God used them. Uh, uh, think about this. I wrote this down, uh, and please don't ever forget it. Uh, uh, God has created uh, all people in His image, uh, regardless whether they believe in Christ or not. Uh, now think about this. Uh, whoever you are tonight, uh, uh, God created you special. Uh, now, I've, I, now listen, uh, uh, many people today, uh, uh, they want to be like somebody else. Uh, uh, they want to act like somebody else. Uh, Hollywood's got everybody uh, uh, wanting to act like Hollywood. Uh, if you get down to it... Uh, uh, they're not anybody to pattern your life after. Uh, you say, preacher, why? Uh, uh, just about, not all of them, uh, but just about all of them uh, are in drugs, uh, uh, they're in sex, they're in divorce, uh, they're in all kinds of turmoil uh, 24 7. Uh, and you know what? That's the devil wanting us to pattern our lives uh, after them. Uh, uh, think about this. Uh, I'm so thankful uh, uh, that God made me exactly the way He made made me. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, uh, you know what? You've heard it said many times and many times over uh, how that people uh, uh, preachers, now think about this. Uh, uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, some preachers desire uh, to be like Billy Graham and that's the truth. If they'll, t if they'll be honest, uh, uh, they'll tell you they have a desire uh, uh, to be a good preacher. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but you be the preacher that God wants you to be and not uh, uh, what you want to be or anybody else. Uh, I've seen people try to take uh, uh, young preachers uh, and make them into somebody they're not. Uh, uh, listen, most preachers desire to be great evangelists, uh, to travel the countryside uh, and preach revival after revival and after revival. There's nothing wrong with that as long as God's in it. Uh, and listen, God needs to be in it uh, or it won't be blessed. Uh, I can remember it's starting out uh, I had these visions of what I wanted to do uh, and it didn't take me very long to figure out brother it, it's not what you want to do it's what God wants to do uh, and guess what uh, each and every person in here tonight uh, I'll go a little further uh, uh, them little kids just back there uh, God's got a plan for their lives uh, uh, not only them uh, uh, God's got a plan for lost people uh, uh, God's got a plan for those uh, that are living in sin. Uh, uh, those are out of God's will. Uh, you never know. Uh, somebody may watch this video. Uh, and you know what? It may speak to them. Uh, it may help them. Uh, I'm glad tonight that God uh, does not have respect of people. Uh, uh, think about this. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, and, you, and you know what? And I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings or make anybody upset. Uh, uh, but you know, when you go back in the Bible, uh, you'll find two examples 
examples uh, of where people were not uh, good parents with their children. Uh, and you know what? I think that's one thing uh, that's hurting America uh, right now. Uh, uh, parents are not being parents. Uh, and you know what? Listen, if you're a good parent to your children, uh, then amen, this ain't for you. Uh, it's for somebody else. Uh, and they're not good to their children. Uh, and it costs them. Uh, and you say, preacher, who was the first one? Uh, it was Abraham. Uh, now think about that. Uh, Abraham, yes. Uh, Isaac was the chosen one. Uh, but he pushed away Ishmael. Uh, he made him leave in that. Uh, and you know what? It cost them something. Uh, uh, what about, uh, uh, think about this. What about Esau and Jacob? Uh, uh, what about Isaac and Rebekah and how they uh, treated them? The Bible says uh, Isaac loved Esau because he ate of his venison, but Rebekah uh, loved Jacob. Uh, and you know what? That caused a rift uh, in the family. And you know what? Let me say to you tonight, God showed me this and he laid it in my heart. You say, preacher, uh, what do you do about it? First thing you do, you pray about it. Uh, we're serving a God today that can touch hearts. Uh, we're serving a God today that can touch lives. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I never in my life, uh, even going through high school or even when I was married, uh, I'll be, I've told this story before. Uh, when years ago, when we were in this church, uh, I was running from God. Uh, I was on the run. Uh, and when God spoke to my heart about preaching, uh, I ran again. Uh, I said, Lord, there's no way uh, I can stand before people uh, and preach to them the gospel. Uh, I don't like being out front. Uh, I don't like being outspoken. Uh, I don't like, hey, I don't, hey, if we're in a crowd, I'm in the corner hiding. That's my personality, all right? That's the way it was. Uh, even in high school, uh, I don't know if they do it anymore, uh, but when it come to giving presentations uh, uh, to the class, uh, if it come to doing debates in the class, uh, if I was close to failing, I'd go through with it but I hated it uh, if I was passing a class I, I'd lay out just to, just to hey, the zero was fine with me uh, as long as I passed uh, uh, that's how much I disliked uh, uh, being in front of people but you know what God hey listen God can take uh, and use each and every one of us you know I'm glad that he doesn't have respect of persons now know this notice this why is this important? It's caused this. When you go back and you look at, 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 at Isaac and Esau. I'm sorry, Esau, yeah, Esau and Jacob. When you think about that, Isaac's love for him was because of what he brought him. If, if you look at Rebekah, Rebekah loved uh, uh, Jacob more because Jacob began to stay around home and to help her out more. But when you think about in the great aspect in that, God doesn't love based off of gifts. God doesn't love based off obedience. God's love is based off of His love for you and I. Have you ever, let me put it this way, have you ever made something you're proud of? Whether it be a picture, uh, whether, you know, it, I, can rem I can remember as kids, you go, you go to school and, and especially kindergarten, you'd make some kind of little uh, cup or figurine or, you know, long time ago they used to make ashtrays and take them home to your parents. That's how far we've come, okay? We don't make ash, uh, ashtrays anymore in school. But I can remember taking those things home, and they look awful. I mean just awful. But I was proud of that. Mama loved it. You know why? Because it was a gift. When you think about us, we are God's creation. And when you look around when it's, when it's outside, you see God's creation all around us in the mountains, in the seas, in the skies, in the, in, in the universe, in the animals, the birds, the, the fish, and all those things are beautiful. But we are distinct from those. God loves us. We are His creation. I was thinking about, um, this is a quote uh, that I read. I'm sorry, I've already covered that one. Uh, think, think about, do we esteem? We are guilty because at times we esteem one above another. I'm guilty of that, okay? I'm guilty of that. I'm, I'm kind of like a, a preacher was this morning. He said, I just load back and 
I just shoot that air in the ground, it bounces back and hits me. Uh, but God's not like that, and that's what I'm so thankful for. Because every example that I can think of, every one that you can use in the Bible, they're not perfect. But God used them. God chose them. Um, the results, I've got a top five list for you tonight. The results of God not having respect of persons. His love is the same for all. No matter the sin. No matter how good. No matter what we're going through. No matter our name. No matter our nationality. No matter where we're from. No matter our address. No matter our country. His love for all is the same. Even those that are in prison right now, God's love for them is not any different than His love for us. The forgiveness is the same for all. The punishment is the same for all. The gift is the same for all. The reward is the same for all. In John chapter 6 and verse 37, it says, All all that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will. If you, if you want to underline this or, remember, or, or rememorize this, all the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. Let me ask you something. All of you in here has got a refrigerator. Have you ever left something in there too long and it began to stink? What do you do with it? You cast it out. Like uh, leaving eggs in there way past their expiration date. Leaving meat in the freezer when it's way past its expiration date. What do you do? You cast it out. Why do you cast it out? It's bad. It stinks. It's no good. But he said, He that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. When I read that verse, I began to think in my heart, began to reflect on my life. And I'll tell you, I, I, I sin every day. I'm not perfect. But I'm glad I'm serving one tonight that is perfect. And I'm glad that no matter my faults, you know what? He loved me for who I was, not for who I would be. He took me just like I was. You say, preacher, what were you? I was dead in my trespasses and sins. You know, when you think about, I was thinking about this, throughout the Bible, it is, it is covered with a lot of people that done a lot of great things. I mean great things. But you know what the Bible teaches us? There is none perfect but Jesus. And God used him. So, say so preacher, what's the message? God has no respect of persons. That doesn't make you tonight love him more. Knowing that he chose you for exactly who you are. You know what? You need to love him more and more every day. You know, I'm coming to a close. Mike, if you and Mary want to come to the piano. There's many other scriptures that I could I could use tonight. I can remember in school and ball teams. You know, coaches pick somebody over another. Now, you're talking about breaking your heart. That'll hurt you. Been on job interviews, and you know what they've done? Not had the qualifications. You know what they've done? Turned you down, sent you a letter, and said, we can't hire you. You're not qualified. You know what? I'm glad Jesus didn't turn me away because I wasn't qualified. If you'll stand tonight, we'll have a song of invitation.
If you would, turn to page 57. It's the bottom of the page, Amazing Grace. <clears throat> In case you didn't notice, we don't cut short Amazing Grace, okay? That's just one of them songs you just don't cut short, you know? Uh, and I like Victory in Jesus. You don't cut it short either because it's just too good. Uh, don't forget, I, also, I had to apologize to Clayton this morning. I completely forgot. Those of you, uh, your uh, last year's gifts and offerings, um, your, your paperwork's out there, so... It's got your name on it. If you've not got that yet for Clay, from Clayton, it is out there uh, in the foyer. I forgot to mention that, and he reminded me of it. Uh, but don't forget that. Don't forget um, everything coming up, and uh, don't, you know, uh, Wednesday night service. I was thinking this morning, you know what? Easter's just around the corner, and I'm looking forward to it. That's my, you know, Christmas, everybody likes Christmas, and, I, and trust me, I love it too. I really do. But you know what? There's nothing like Easter because that is our hope, um, and I get excited about it. So don't don't forget that. Pray for one for pray one for another, and ask Brother Jerry if he dismisses, please. Our Father, we're so thankful that you are a respecter of person, that you love us all equally, dear God. No matter what we do, what we are, we pray, dear God, that you'll be with everyone tonight. And Give them a safe journey home, dear God. A lot of people, dear God, have a lot of requests. You know all about them, dear God. We don't even have to mention. You know about them. We pray, dear God, that you forgive me when I fail you. Lead and guide and direct us. And thank you again for your love. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen.